What's up everybody, Jay Lulo here and today I want to talk to you about the new feature in the iPhone 12 Pro lineups which is Apple Pro Raw. So with Apple Pro Raw what this does is that this takes the computational photography from the iPhone 12 Pro Max or the iPhone 12 Pro and takes it and combines it with Smart HDR, Deep Fusion and Night Mode to create a sharper image with less noise and significantly more detail so that when you take your photos into your editing it can take all the editing that you put into it and make it that much better it will take all the stuff in the editing that you use whichever program you use or whichever software you use in editing and it'll use it and it has so much information built into the photo because of the smart computational photography and Apple's Pro Raw that it will use all that information when you edit it and it will make it so much better. It's going to take your colors and your sharpness and denoise whatever areas might have some noise and just make a beautiful picture that you will not get with other photography or with other cameras and the cell phone or that you won't get without using the Pro Raw feature. The whole idea to Pro Raw is that with the Pro Raw feature enabled, you get 12 bits of color. And also, apart from the fact that you get 12 bits of color, you also get 14 stops of dynamic range. Now, if you don't understand what those terms mean, that's just basically in layman's terms saying this thing has a lot of information in it that it holds so that when you edit it, it will be able to take all the editing that you do to it and not lose anything from it. And it will keep everything, it will keep all that information information in the photo without losing any detail and it will be able to handle it so that when you put your editing to work it takes the colors and everything else that you can throw at it without losing any information or any detail in the photo so here's a couple of pictures that I took around my house around Christmas time so this might be coming this video might be coming a little bit after Christmas but I took these photos because I like to take photos that have a lot of color and a lot of saturation and a lot of detail in them so that you can tell how good this feature on the iPhones are. I mean to be honest with you this is something that you can basically almost only get up to this point in a professional DSLR and mirrorless camera. So the fact that iPhones adding all of this to their phones is just a better way for people to be able to take more professional style photographs without having to buy a professional mirrorless camera because it's not everybody has the budget for that so this kind of helps out with that and it's just something that makes it better for you because you always have your phone in your pocket i cannot stress that enough every time i speak about all of the things that they're doing with cell phones these days so this is just the next step in cell phone photography especially for people that wants to take a lot of photos. So take a look at this picture that I took in my house in the Christmas time. And here's the before with the raw feature enabled. And now this is the edited version of the picture. How crazy is that? I mean, how detailed, how much color was caught in the photo that I took with the Apple Pro raw feature enabled how far I was able to take the colors in that picture to make it look the way I was seeing it when I took it in my face, like in person. When I was holding that Christmas ball, I was thinking to myself, I hope this comes out good because you never know. I mean, not every picture comes out good, but when I saw it after I edited it, I was like, wow, that was like one of the best pictures I ever took. So I was so glad the way it came out after I edited it. And here's another picture that I took the same same area it was in a darker area of my Christmas tree and take a look at the before now take a look at that picture after I edited it now in this picture I did see a little bit more noise but it was a lot darker when I took this picture I was basically underneath my tree the only lights that were in the picture were the lights from the Christmas tree. So it's still, it still held up good. Even though it was so dark, it held a lot of information and it didn't 
didn't lose, uh, it didn't gain a lot of noise in the dark areas and the color stayed perfectly intact, which is beautiful. And let me see, did I take another picture? I think I took a third picture. So here is the third picture I took. This is the before. And now this is after I edit, edited it. I mean, come on. Come on guys, this is next level stuff here that we're dealing with on these phones. I mean, how far can they take these phones? This is crazy. So, I mean, you know, try it out. This is not only for professional photographers, this is for everybody to try out. I mean, if you just want to take pictures of your family or just things around the house or you like to just take pictures of nature or things like that, and you have an iPhone Pro and iPhone Pro Max, Take this, take this for a spin, take it for a drive, Try, test it out, just, you know, test out your skills. Yeah, you, you can edit, I edited all these pictures with the iPhone, I didn't use any third party apps. You don't need any third party apps, the iPhone does a great job of editing these pictures. But if you do have third party apps that you wanna try, there's a whole bunch, just look for a couple, and if I can find a couple, I'll link them down below and you guys can test them out. I haven't tested any out, I just used the iPhone for now and maybe I'll use a third party app in a different video to show you guys what you can do with the third party apps. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys how you can take great pictures with this new addition to the camera on the iPhone 12 Pro lineups with Pro Raw and see what you can do with just the iPhone's editing software right within the iPhone. So guys, why don't you just try it out and tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And please, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you could be notified next time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.